Final round highlights from PGA Tour Canada's debut held at the Times Colonist Island Savings Open in Victoria, British Columbia. Starting off on the sixth hole, this is Nick Taylor. This for a long birdie opportunity. Up over the ridge. Does not read it quite right. We'll leave it short. We're going to tap that one in for par to remain at six under overall. Over to the 14th, it's Riley Wielden from Canada. This on the 14th, his second shot. This to chip it up on the par three would get up and down to save par and remain at six under. Over to the 18th now, still wheeled in. This for par to remain at seven under. He gets it to go. Wheeled in one low Canadian honors this week. It's seven under overall. Over now to the eighth, it's Steven Gangliff. He's coming off a birdie on seven. He began his day one back of Tyler Aldridge at seven under par. That to get to nine under from about 30 feet out. He was not done yet. But first, let's take a look at the other American in contention this weekend, Tyler Aldridge. He's coming off birdies on seven and eight. This on the par three ninth. Missed the green. Looked like that birdie streak would end, but he says not so fast as he has a incredible chip in for birdie to get to nine under par, which is where he would finish. One under on the day, but that would not be enough because Gangliff, like I said, was not done as he keeps it rolling. That for a birdie on the 16th to get to 10 under. And then we'll head over to the 18th. His second shot on the par four. A bomb of a drive leaves himself a short chip into the green. He sticks it to within 10 feet of the hole. This for the birdie and the outright win. Steven Gangliff looking to become the first winner on PGA Tour Canada. And he gets it done at 11 under par. American Steven Gangliff is your first winner of PGA Tour Canada.